Jack, you guys go, you know, you talk about death in so many different teams, right, as far as SEC baseball and softball and football, of course, but the depth that you have on this Vanderbilt team, you guys went back-to-back -back SEC golf championships. Where does it come from? Is it the coaching? Is it the recruiting? What is it? No, this team here is overcoming coaching, Peter. You know, <laughs> you know how that works. Um, it, 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 it has been about the depth for us this year. We've got, um, you know, eight or nine guys that can play, and, and each week we're just re-challenging, um, you know, kind of the, the, the line for us to stay above. Uh, these guys are pushing each other every week, and, and we have great leadership on this team. So uh, these guys kind of started off in January uh, wanting to really get going, and, and I'm just proud for them to uh, enjoy some successes that they're able to enjoy. Um, and part of that, uh, you know, obviously is is managing expectations for teams and making them play a little bit better. Like, do, do you guys, obviously they have swing coaches, but do y'all have a mental coach as well for the golf side of, of the programs? Yeah, I mean, I think all of our guys, Peter, work with with different people. And, and that's one thing we focus a lot of our energy on is just helping these guys understand what greatness looks like uh, day to day. And, uh, and, and our guys are, uh, you know, Vanderbilt attracts a, a different style of, of, of person, a different style of athlete. And, and I think it, it inspires us to work harder and work together in everything that we do in the classroom, um, um, on the golf course, whatever it may be. It's, it's what attracted me, uh, you know, to, to this job uh, 10 years ago uh, anyway. It was just it, Vanderbilt is different, but that distinction that we had, uh, it pushes us to be better um, than we were yesterday. Day. And that's the mindset of of our golf program is, um, you know, let's take chances and let's seize opportunities. Let's don't let them uh, get past us. And, and you're looking, you know, you're trying to find the best talent. And sometimes that's international. Sometimes it's right in the neighborhood of, of other teams you play against. Right. And, and you know something about the Alabama Crimson Tide team. You're a great recruiter. And you look at Gordon Sargent, who was a fantastic kid uh, coming out from Birmingham. You said that he's just sneaky long. He's so good. You know, Take me through what a recruiting trip is like when you're battling these other SEC coaches for top tier talent. Well, it's 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 like any other recruitment, uh, Peter. I mean, it's uh, you're trying to to help a, a young person understand uh, what a 40 year decision is about, not a four year decision. And we believe that we focused on we focus on Vanderbilt we focus on what we do we never talk about it's never a comparison game never what they do it's 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 only about us because that's the only thing that i know exactly what we do and and you know you talk about you know you mentioned gordon and gordon is is an extremely uh, gifted student first and foremost so i think the ability to to show him that we're going to compete for sec and national championships along with helping him get an education that's going to set him up for a lifetime of success i think that's that that was what attracted he and um his, his father seth and his mother monica to, to vanderbilt university in the first place and and he's a winner he's been a winner his whole life and um and you know and i just think he wants to to compete for championships and wants to be pushed by um, the best uh, the best players in the country. And, and you guys see that, and you guys have one of the best teams in the country winning back-to-back -back SEC titles, which is a lot tougher now because it's not only stroke play, then you have to win match play, and it was fantastic over at Sea Island. I see the logo on your shirt there. It looks pretty good. Uh, going forward, though, we talk a lot, and our callers have been talking about name, image, and likeness and transfer portal stuff. How much does that filter down to, to the golf world in, in, in your world? Oh, it, it's there, Peter, for sure. I think that, um, you know, as, as the, uh, you know, collegiate athletics landscape continues to change, I think our golf program and, and, and Vanderbilt, we're, we're all for our, you know, student athletes maximizing their potential in all areas. And, you know, there's, there's not a lot, uh, there's not many hotter cities in the country than the Nashville, Tennessee right now. So along with that, and, you know, and, and, and Vanderbilt's got a, um, you know, a new uh, thing that we're collaborating along with NBC sports that, 
that we're helping pilot. And, 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 and I think it's going to really help our student athletes um, to try to help understand what their best practices are moving forward through, you know, through NBC Sports and, and uh, NBC Sports Athlete Direct. So there's a lot of opportunities out there, but it's like anything else. It's your brand and, and we want to do the best job we can helping our kids understand um, how, to, how to make great decisions for their brand now and mm. for their brand, you know, moving forward. It's funny because we have you on FaceTime right now and I see you kind of fidgeting with the camera, which means those are text messages come in. So as a golf coach right now that just won the SEC title, how many text messages does one get in a, in a single day? It has been more than usual, Peter. Usually it's just, you know, my wife reminding me that Annie and Mally are playing softball at 530 and 545 on field seven and field nine. And, <laughs> and, and, and you need to pick up Thomas and get him there for the Pirates game at, uh, at, at 650 for batting practice that's usually what but lately um you know we 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 we, we're getting quite a good amount of text about um us winning and there's a lot of excitement around that so i am uh i'm thrilled to 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 see the text rolling in and people caring about what our student athletes are doing um on on the golf course last question for you too scott because you guys know recruiting is the lifeblood whether it's nick saban getting football players or eric musselman and what he's trying to do with with arkansas hoops at what age do you start zoning in on recruits for the for the golf world and think, all right, I've got to have my eye on this guy that I want to sign in a couple of years? You know, I think high school. I think when, when, when they're in high school, we're, we're always paying attention to scores um, earlier than that. But just when they're in high school, Peter, we, we've entered a, a stage of, you know, where we're, we're starting to see who's becoming what. And there are or there's no perfect science to it. It for us, we're wanting to. Rather, you're talking about, you know, you know, like right the guys that that won all three of our uh, points uh, Sunday in um, in the SEC championship were from the state of Texas. Two from Austin, uh, Reed Davenport and Cole Sherwood, um, and then um, uh, William Mall from Houston, Texas, and then we had uh, Harrison Ott from Wisconsin. Just all these guys contributed and so you know we we're able to swing up a, a pretty wide net at Vanderbilt uh, but it's it's about a fit too it's not just about a score it's about mm-hmm. finding young guys that want to be you know held to a high standard uh, on on the course in the classroom and all around so um, but 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 I would say high school's a, a pretty fair time to say you know what let, let's see who's becoming what well do me a favor next time that you need any kind of uh, SEC golf uh, recruiting coordinator for over C's or something like that, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, he is Scott Limbaugh, uh, back-to-back SEC men's golf coach champions. We appreciate him joining